Hey and welcome back to The Revolution and a brand new WWE 2K23 video. As earlier today, WWE and 2K unveiled a brand new Your Time Is Now OMG trailer featuring a first look at a bunch of female superstars. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE 2K23 content, hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website www.revolution.com for a breakdown of all of today's news and so much more. I have to say I actually really enjoyed the trailer, especially with those quick glimpses of war games, as well as those all important female superstars. I also really appreciated the mix of current day superstars, legends and the upcoming superstars used throughout the trailer, allowing fans to play through and reenact multiple generations. Before we go into things too much and go on a tangent like we always do, let's break things down and see if there's anything you might have missed at home. The trailer starts out with another look at this year's cover star John Cena as he makes his way to the ring along with an updated never give up towel as part of his iconic entrance. As previously mentioned, Cena is spotting his 20 years of Cena attire. We then get another glimpse of Roman Reigns making his entrance before quickly cutting back to another shot of Cena making his way to the ring. We then get a quick look at this year's pre-order bonus superstar Bad Bunny making his way to the ring as part of his WWE 2K video game debut. As we can see from the footage, Bad Bunny is spotting his WrestleMania 37 Night 1 attire as part of his tag team match with Damian Priest against The Miz and John Morrison. For his first time appearing in a WWE video game, I have to say Bad Bunny looks pretty damn badass and I've no doubt there will be plenty of 50 moves to Bad Bunny YouTube videos as seen with the usual WWE celebrity crossovers. Following on from Bad Bunny, we get a really quick glimpse of the Bloodline making their entrance in the Smackdown arena with a brand new stable animation which includes the Usos, Paul Heyman and the WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns. We've already seen the stunning effects of ray tracing in WWE 2K23 over the last few days but the spot here with the Bloodline looks absolutely stunning and I can't wait to see how some of the more eccentric looking titantrons like Asuka's for example look with the reflections and the lighting. Sticking with Roman Reigns, we get another quick glimpse of Roman in the ring before the head of the table lays a beat down to Drew McIntyre in the ring. We then get another look at Cody Rhodes in WWE 2K23 after the official entrance reveal earlier in the week, which looks awesome. We then switch to a quick look at Cody's rival Seth Rollins making his way to the ring in true Rollins fashion. No pun, or pun intended, you make the decision. Seth looks to be sporting an attire that he's worn several times over the last year, most recently sporting said attire as part of the Raw 30th anniversary. We then see Seth and Cody reenacting their iconic feud from 2022 as the pair lock up inside the red Hell in a Cell structure. Following on from that, we have our very first official look at Cora Jade in 2K23 as she makes her official WWE 2K video game debut. In a super cool moment, Cora skates her way to the ring as part of her face persona, which I can only hope comes with a usable skateboard weapon to reenact her shocking betrayal on her former best friend. I have to say I'm honestly really surprised to see Cora in the main game as I assume she would be DLC so he's hoping this means we could also get Roxanne Perez. As we can see from the footage Cora is sporting her orange blue graffiti NXT 2.0 attire as used in matches such as her encounter with Natalia back in May 2022. Cora looks to have her hair in pigtail braids as part of her more preppy and cool persona before turning heel in July of 2022. Whilst a heel version of Cora would have been more up to date with a current day persona, I have to say that it's pretty awesome to see a female superstar have such a unique entrance animation and I have no doubt that plenty of core superstars will be sporting the entrance for themselves. We then see Cora falling victim to a gory bomb at the hands of the new and updated Alba Fire, the former NXT UK Women's Champion Kaylee Ray. Alba looks to be sporting a version of her NXT 2022 attire which she's recently sported back in October as part of her feud against Mandy Rose and Toxic Attraction. As we see the gory bomb beautifully performed from various angles, we then get another look at the current Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair. As we've previously stated, Bianca Belair spots her WrestleMania 37 attire as she poses to the crowd as part of her entrance. We then get a look at the 2023 Women's Royal Rumble winner Rhea Ripley as she too taunts the crowd making her entrance in what looks to be a stable entrance for Rhea and her fellow Judgment Day members. 
Judging by the fact that both Damien Priest and Finn Balor are entering the ring alongside Rhea, it could quite possibly hint at a brand new trio entrance animation or possibly four-man entrance, depending on how up-to-date the stable is. It's hard to tell if Dominic Mysterio is also part of the stable, as Dominic could quite possibly be off screen during this shot, but I also wouldn't be surprised if we don't see him as part of the initial faction. So far, I think Rhea's model might quite possibly be one of, if not my favourite model for 2K23 when it comes to the women. The team have captured Rhea's essence perfectly, and I can't wait to see Rhea in full when the game releases. We then briefly switch out for a wide shot of Seth Rollins in the Hell in a Cell structure before seeing a stunning shot of Paul Logan as he makes another appearance in the WWE 2K series. Logan Paul's model already looked somewhat great in 2K22, but this year Paul looks especially on point as he spots his signature black and yellow attire. We then switch back to some action as both Logan Paul and Seth Rollins hit some diving moves as Seth puts Cody through a table with a frog splash. Moving away from diving moves, we switch to some powerhouse style moves with Bianca Belair throwing a military press on Rhea Ripley and another shot of John Cena taking on Austin Theory. I just wanted to briefly once again touch base on female referees with the 2K female referee in shot. As we gathered, it looks as though female referees, like the male variations, will also not be modelled on real life referees due to likeness issues, which, although a shame, came to be expected. What I will say, however, is that it looks as though assets from an older version of Tamina may have been used to create the official, similar to the Dawkins looking referee, which was added in 2K22. Next up, we have another look at the seriously awesome War Games match, which makes its debut in 2K23, with the Bloodline Sami Zayn, Jimmy and Jey Uso taking on the team of Kevin Owens, Sheamus and Drew McIntyre. We see both teams battling out inside the steel structure, with Kevin Owens taking a splash from Jimmy Uso and Drew sending Sami hurtling in to the second ring. In the background, we can also see Jey Uso performing one of the actions that can be used when fighting within the trenches of the war game structure. Throughout the footage, we can see several weapons scattered throughout both rings, including a sledgehammer, the stop sign, a steel chair, and a kendo stick. It's also been noted that tables can also be used during this matchup. As the segment rounds out, we see former best friends Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn as Kevin sends Sami hurtling towards the mat. As we briefly move away from current day superstars, we switch focus to some WWE legends with a look at macho man Randy Savage and Hulk Hogan. Hogan fans will be happy to spot that this year's Hogan can be played sans bandana as he performs a leg drop on Savage. We then get another look at Stone Cold Steve Austin in WWE 2K23 as he performs a stunner on WWE legend Bret Hart, who, I would argue, looks so much better in this year's game. Sticking with legends, we see The Undertaker and Shawn Michaels recreating their iconic Hell in a Cell match as Taker chokeslams HBK off the cell and through the table below. Whilst the situation may not be anything new to the series, this spot still looks awesome, especially presented like this in the trailer. Moving away from the legends, we have another look at Bad Bunny as he hits his bunny destroyer on a bewildered looking Miz. Without the sunglasses, we get a better look at Bad Bunny's face model, which really does look lifelike and awesome. As we can see from the footage, it looks as though The Miz is spotting his pink and green SummerSlam 2022 attire from his match with Logan Paul. It's not an official confirmation, but this could hint at another 2K entry from the race who accompanied The Miz as part of the match and also often getting involved in the feud itself. We then get another quick glimpse of The Rock in 2K23 as he hits the rock bottom on John Cena before Cena follows up with an attitude adjustment. Sticking with the in-ring action, we see Roman Reigns hitting a spear on Logan Paul and Cody Rhodes performing a Cody Cutter on Seth Rollins in the Hell in a Cell. We then finally get some more female action as we see the current SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair performing the natural selection on Alexa Bliss. From the footage, we have the official confirmation that Alexa Bliss is indeed sporting her Raw May 2022 return attire, which she sported for several months before turning heel over the last few weeks. Thankfully, Alexa's model includes her hair buns, so gone are the days of using those damn bloody cat ears in the creation suite, so fingers crossed she doesn't change her hairstyle up once the game hits. Charlotte, on the other hand, looks to be sporting an attire from the Raw and SmackDown 2021 Thunderdome and post-pandemic era with her black and gold attire. Interestingly, the WWE 2K23 Charlotte is wearing an older attire than the attire showcased in 2K22, which is a little strange. Regardless, Charlotte still looks great and her hairstyle does tie in well with the Charlotte we see now on TV. From the glimpses, we can see both Alexa and Charlotte look to have great models once again in 2K23 and I can't wait to get a better look at Alexa especially. 
Speaking of awesome looking models, we have another shot of Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley as Rhea performs a riptide on the day's looking Bianca Belair. We then switch back to Bad Bunny as he performs a falcon arrow reminiscent of his WrestleMania matchup. Unfortunately, the pain isn't over for the maze as Bad Bunny rounds out the trailer with a dive to the outside. I have to say I actually quite enjoyed the Your Time Is Now trailer, especially the more I watch it during the breakdown. Sure, it doesn't show off anything groundbreakingly new aside from war games, but the female models especially look good this year and I can't wait to see a bunch of my favourites in the upcoming weeks. It's also noticeable how great both Bad Bunny and Logan Paul look in 2K23 as they represent the celebrity wing and I can only hope that someday soon we get some female representation alongside Ronda Rousey who made the jump a few years back. Maybe, just maybe, we could finally get my dream of Cindy Lauper. Probably not. <laughs> WWE 2K23 seems to have improved on the Legends models this year, with some tweaks to the likes of Hulk Hogan and Kurt Angle, so I would love to see some love towards the likes of Trish Stratus, who desperately needs an update. It goes without saying that I would also love to see some female Legends return to the game, such as Ivory, Molly Holly, and later especially after her iconic feud with Becky, leading to her second retirement match at Crown Jewel. Before I bore you all to death with my vision of the women's division, let me know in the comments below what you thought of the trailer and what your takeaways are from the footage. Did you like the attires and the models? Who stood out as the best looking superstar and who are you most excited to see next? To be sure you don't miss out on any of our upcoming WWE 2K23 content, hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website www.revolution.com where you'll find a breakdown of all of today's news and so much more. Until next time, I've been The Revolution and you can't see me. My time's now. <laughs>